Hey guys, welcome back to Wacky Engineering, and today we're going to do a review of this Hupar S04 CG laser level. Let's check it out. We got to give a shout out to Hupar for sending this to us, but keep in mind this is going to be an honest review. So, you know, however it is, is however we're going to tell it. Let's check it out. All right, let's pop this baby open. Okay, we have a manual. All right, so we have this adjustable base. That's pretty nice. You can fine tune your adjustments to get the laser oriented how you need it to. Um, this is also an awesome accessory. We have a little scissor jack here. So you don't have to stack up a bunch of blocks or books or whatever to try to get the right height if you're not using a tripod. All right. First look, feels pretty decent. I like right off the bat, this thing has four lasers. A lot of models have either two or three. Of course, we have a charging block here and the cable. We can use either a lithium ion rechargeable battery or we can plug in AA batteries with this little adapter here. And then also we want to note that you can actually run this thing straight off of the charging port without a battery in it at all. So that is pretty cool that you have multiple options of running this thing. And we have the remote. I also want to note that you can download an app and Bluetooth connect this thing to your phone. So you have a little bit of control options there with using your phone versus this remote. I also like the case that they supplied. Um, it encompasses the laser and all the accessories cut out real nice, so you don't have to worry you know, about it getting damaged during transportation. Um, everything fits in nice, so that's pretty sweet. So I'd say first look is pretty good on this thing, so let's dive in and check it out. Okay, so we have this thing turned on, and we have it on the self-leveling mode, which you can do that by selecting this switch. So we just turned it back off. This is the locked mode. That way you could possibly set specific angles that you wanted to set. All right, so we're on the self-leveling mode here and we're using our little scissor jack and we're gonna check all of our boxes on the wall over there. So I'm just jacking it up to kind of line it up on one of the boxes. As you can tell, this model uses a green laser so visibility is great with it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go check it out. So as you can see, we're, kind of, we're blocking some of the light, but everything's straight. These ones here line up pretty well too. All right, looks pretty spot on. All right, so we just downloaded the Hupar app Super easy, we were able to scan a QR code from the manual there, and then once we opened it, literally all I had to do was hit scan for devices, clicked it, it connected, now we're on it. So you can control the different lasers. Now we have all of them on right now. Now of course, as most of you know, the one coming out the bottom here is gonna be really handy for like flooring and stuff like that. Um, so in this case, you know, I probably wouldn't have them on right now. So I will say that this laser is super easy to see. I can see it on the other side of the house. I can see the vertical line in the garage all the way on the other end in there. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I can see it in person, like it's clear as day. And the total length of this house is a little over 90 feet. So I know we don't have it all the way on the end of the house, but I mean, that's easily 50 feet away and it's clear as day. As you can see here, we have fine adjustments here. And then on the back side here, we can actually adjust the rotation. And so we're gonna dial this in to get it lined up on our recess lighting here. But as you can see, that's what, uh, you know, it has some fine tune adjustments on this thing. I do like this base. Um, the plastic, eh, it feels okay. 
It'd be nice if these knobs were made of metal. And then here's our vertical adjustment. And then you can actually lock it in place so gravity doesn't try to take it down. So overall the base looks pretty good. And I just want to say again how awesome this little scissor jack is. The fact that it has a lot of these accessories that you're going to need on a job site, it already comes with it on this kit, I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're measuring our line, we're two foot six off the wall. And as you can see here, we can use this top line here to line up some recessed lighting, keep everything straight. Okay. All right, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so if you have your tripod and it's not perfectly set up on the self-leveling, you can see here it says it's 1.1 degree off, but it has the self-leveling feature. You can see here it was able to correct for that a uh, little bit off level. So it's nice. You don't have to sit there and mess around with the tripod for five minutes to get the tripod perfect. This thing can take up to a couple degrees off. Okay, so now we have it locked here where it's not going to self-level. So if we wanted to hold like an angle all the way down the wall, um, you can see how we could put it in the locked mode where it's not trying to self-level. Um, and then on the screen here, you can actually see, it'll show you what uh, angles it's seeing there. Yeah. Well, we're reading the same here as our Sigmund, so that's a good sign. All right, so if we were gonna work on some baseboard, we could uh, use this bottom laser here. We have it set up against the level over there. And of course, we're using this scissor jack. This scissor jack's awesome. We can get our fine adjustment that we need. Looks good. Looks just a little bit dim on this wall, but we do have nice LED lighting in here, so it's pretty bright in here, but I mean, I can still clearly see it once I get up close to it, so not an issue. All right, so we have the laser level set all the way on one side of the house in the garage. Um, so we're gonna measure here. We got three foot nine inches. And then just so you can see the distance. We are 73 feet away. Then we'll measure our height here. Three foot nine inches. So even 73 feet away, we can still see this line pretty clearly. All right, so we have this thing outside to kind of check for some visibility. We got our ceiling fans that are gonna be going in here. And then we also connected up the remote here. So the top button here controls the brightness. So we're brighter there, dimmer there. So when we're outside, definitely keep up the brightness. So the remote works just fine. We can kick on our different lasers. So we have it now out in direct sunlight and we can still see it on the siding here. Looks good, this green light's super easy to see. I love that feature. Well guys, for a budget friendly Hupar laser level, this thing exceeded expectations in every area. The lines are nice and crisp. We have four different lasers, so that's super nice. Um, it came with a lot of different accessories. The case is nice. I really don't have anything bad to say about this thing, so uh, this is a buy from us. Thanks for watching.